As with the people who built the temples, the connection to the crocodiles runs deep. We must conduct the ceremony once a year to ask permission from the crocodile god to fish, work and hunt on the crocodile's land. Can he pray for us for good luck for our, uh, our trip and maybe that we see a crocodile? Here comes the rice wine. <laughs> Got a kick. <laughs> Look at your face. We should be used to drinking this. It's like rocket fuel. <laughs> The Crocodile Project supports the villagers by helping with their crops and providing jobs. Just £10 could pay a crocodile warden for a week. I'm realising that if we protect the crocodiles, we protect the whole forest and help the people who really care about them. Finally, we arrive at the jungle camp where I'm hoping to see a croc for myself. Hi, Boyd. Nice to see you. How are you? Boyd Simpson is a projects man in the field. He's a crocodile expert and spends six months a year in the jungle. Everyone's got their own little sort of hammock area then with a the tarpaulin. Hi. <laughs> it's been a long day and I'm glad someone's put the kettle on. Toilet? Yeah, I could do with a wee. Out there? The world is my oyster, basically. Whoa! <laughs> Looks like I'll have to wait for that cup of tea. <laughs> At least the bed's comfy. We settled down for our first meal, dried beef and a huge bowl of plain boiled rice. Something I'm apparently going to have to get used to. I want to ask about something that's been on my mind. Outside of this, this jungle, crocodiles are perceived as these vicious creatures who, you know, you should never go near. Well, they, they do have a lot of teeth and they're big <laughs> and grey and lumpy and it's hard to read what they're thinking. Um, the local people here, you know, we've asked time and time again, has anyone ever been bitten by a croc or bothered by a croc? And, mm. and the fact that for you know, thousands of years crocs have lived with people here and there's been no yeah. conflict or anything else. They, the two, two species live side by side. Yeah, it's a friendly, friendly crook. That's <laughs> what we like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, what a day. Um, what I am looking forward to tomorrow, though, is having some more rice for breakfast and finding some crocs. Night. Just as I've slipped into a deep sleep, I'm woken up by the team. <laughs> A couple of the rangers have been going up and down the river. He'd spotted two massive eyes in the water. So we went and had a look down both sides, just on the bank. We couldn't see anything. So then we've come on the boat to try and find the croc. It's amazing, a Siamese crocodile is so close to the camp. We search the river for an hour or so, but we don't see it again. What a tantalising glimpse. I can see close contact could be a real challenge. Just a few hours later, I get a wake-up call from Mr Big. <laughs> Mr Big is so getting it, by the way. We're having him for tea. Oh, every 20 minutes that he went off. He was like a record on repeat at 2.30 this morning. Um, just having some rice, start the day off. Good See? Good substance to get you going for the day. We'll need to cover a lot of ground to find a crocodile. First, we check out where the croc was seen last night. Crocodile warden Mr Coot points out exactly where it was. He thinks it headed downstream when it saw us. Luckily, he knows these rivers like the back of his hand. The team tries to find out about every Siamese crocodile spotted. The more we understand their lives, the better chance we have of saving them. It's not long before Boyd spots something. 
What we can see here is a, is a crocodile track has come up on the bank here. Here's a good one over here. You see this, this footprint here? Which is about... It's, yeah, it's yeah. pretty much exactly the size of my hand. Yeah, so that's, I think that's a pretty, pretty big crocodile. He'll be around somewhere, you know, it's... Uh, Nice, Where are you? Nice, probably sitting under a log watching us or something. Probably. The three of us spend the rest of the day on the river looking for the crocodiles. It isn't easy. Boyd tells me that all over the world, crocodiles are masters of stealth. They can stay underwater for hours at a time. After years of being hunted, Siamese crocodiles are especially wary. These rare pictures were only filmed after weeks of patience, a major achievement for the project. It is a bit like looking for a needle in a haystack. No luck today, soaps back to camp. End of the day, uh, it's been scorchy all day and the only way to wash yourself is by getting in here, which I have to say, cools you down instantly. Lovely. I'm just going to try and avoid the leeches. Everyone so far has been bit by them. And uh, do you want to see this? This is really good. That's how filthy I am. Early next day, the team take me to a special place. Six months ago, a warden found a Siamese crocodile's nest. It's the only one they found in two whole years of searching. The team were elated. No. <laughs> they checked the precious eggs and let nature take its course. Aloha. All species of crocodile are surprisingly caring mothers. They dig out nests and guard their eggs fiercely. When they hatch, the babies call to their mother and she carries them carefully to the water. Well, here we are, Edith. Oh, wow. But for this mother, something went wrong. What happened with this... Um, with this nest? Unfortunately, some monitor lizards. Oh, no. Came and um, and ate all the eggs. Then no no babies came out after that. So you lost how many potential Cambodian crocodiles here? Well, this this oh, nest okay. had uh, I think 25 eggs in it. Oh. So it's a uh, it's a bit of a loss here yeah, for sure. That's a huge loss. It is. When you consider there's maybe well we think maybe fewer than 250 adults left in the world in the wild. Yeah. Um, possibly considerably less. This could. You know, this would have really helped bump up mm. the numbers. I didn't realise how badly losing the nest had affected everybody. If they could fund more wardens like Mr Coote, the team could find and protect more crucial nests. After this disappointment, Mr Coote's got more positive news. Another crocodile's been seen in the area. This is um, pretty much going to be our last chance to see the crocs. Um, we're heading down to the lake, and so we've got to be quiet. So we're going to go down there and um, just hang out. And fingers crossed we see her. Sometimes you can make the sound of a baby crocodile. Yeah. She's going to think that the baby's in distress and will come and okay. try and rescue it. And there's a chance we might be able to glimpse her. So this is the noise the baby makes when it's upset. time spent waiting, what? And the reason being is because there's so few of them. But just now we've been sat here for ages, not a sign of one. <laughs> 